Hello! Okay, so today I'm going to get into something a little different compared to all my other videos. Um, today I kind of want to get into moral philosophy or, or ethics, you could say. And I would like to start with explaining universal laws, absolute rules, and the social contract theory. So, basically in order for our society as humans to function, we have different unspoken rules. I mean, yes, they are laws that are enforced, but they are obvious rules in order for us to function in groups together as society, as the human race, right? Okay, so the first rule is that obviously you don't kill other people, right? That would impair society functioning if we're not able to trust each other, gonna kill each other, I mean, obviously people aren't going to want anything to do with you if you're going around killing people. Um, the second rule is that you do not steal what does not belong to you, right? I think we all agree that killing and stealing is wrong. And the third one, which is kind of a little more flexible, is do not lie, right? I mean, there's no law against lying. But obviously, if you want to have friends, if you want to maintain relationships, if you want to have uh, business deals, business contracts, you want to be honest and have a reputation as being honest, right? So we have the three universal rules that everyone agrees on that we need in order to function in, in as a society. is Do not kill, do not steal, do not lie. And keep in mind that this only applies to humans, right? So, like, an example would be this isn't something that would prohibit abortion because fetuses or babies, depending on what you feel, are not parties in a contract. They don't have the ability to be part of the contract. Um, also... Killing animals or harming animals. They are not able to be parts of a social contract. So this wouldn't apply to abortion or animal rights. Um, something else that is not part of the social contract is the establishment of any particular religion. Because obviously other people have different beliefs and they wouldn't want just one religion um, I, su I suppose an exception would be if everyone universally agreed that they were the same religion. Um, once again, you know, that, that brings into, that brings up free will and choices, making your own choices. Which brings me into the next thing. Um, so we have the three universal laws and the exceptions that are not part of the social contract. Other than this, other than these three laws, we have a lot of, needless to say, gray areas, not black or white, where not everyone agrees what is right or wrong, which is why we have voting. And people can choose not to vote. See? once again, free will and having a choice. Um, that's why we have voting, because there's areas where people cannot universally agree on what is harmful to society and what is not. So examples would be gay marriage, right? Some people think it's wrong. Some people don't. Um, drug use, victimless crime, um, alcohol. For a short time, alcohol was pro prohibited, but people <laughs> still found ways to 
drink, people still find ways to do drugs. Um, and abortion, obviously, um, not everyone, people aren't sure if, if they're, if it's wrong, right or wrong. Some people think it's fine, right? Some people think it's wrong. Um, some people don't know if they define a fetus as human life. Other people consider it not a fetus. They consider it a baby. You know, people don't agree on this stuff. That's why it's in a gray area. That's why we vote on it. It's not part of the social contract that we have. It's not... People cannot tell if it harms society or not. It's based on their own feelings and their own beliefs. So which leads me into the next part of what happens when people take their feelings and their own personal beliefs about what is right or what is wrong and they try to force everyone else to conform to what they feel. I'm not saying what they feel is right or wrong, but I'm saying what they are doing about how they feel is wrong. Okay, so an example is, let's say you think gay marriage is immoral. You think homosexuality is immoral. And you think that it should be banned. You don't think people should be able to marry another gay person. So, you become an activist, and you vote for people not to be able to get married. And maybe that does happen. Maybe people are not able to get married, even though you believe it's wrong and you would never marry a, a person of the same sex, you are forcing everybody else to conform to what you believe, and you are taking away their free will. You are taking away their choice. Keep in mind that when people cannot choose for themselves, it takes away the meaning of their choice. So another example would be abortion, right? Maybe you believe abortion is wrong. You define abortion as murder and you want to stop it, but not everybody else feels that way. People don't universally agree that abortion is wrong. People do not universally agree that gay marriage is wrong. People universally agree that killing someone is wrong, stealing is wrong, and lying is wrong, but they do not agree on these things. So you become an activist. You ban abortion, whatever. You force everyone else to conform to your viewpoint, your feelings, your morals, and now people cannot make that choice for themselves. And that choice loses its meaning. I personally believe that abortion is murder. I believe that it's a human life in there. I believe that life starts at conception. However, I would never take that choice away from somebody else. It's not my choice to make. It's their life. This isn't a universally agreed upon topic. This, this is... Another example would be banning meat consumption or killing of animals or harming of animals. Not everyone believes that eating meat is wrong. Some people define meat as murder. I've seen the slaughterhouse videos, I've seen the abuse videos, and I believe it is murder. However, I'm not taking anyone's choice away from them. I'm not taking, I don't want to take anyone's free will away from them. Because when people can't choose for themselves what is right or wrong, their choices don't matter anymore. Be become slaves. You wouldn't want someone to take away your rights for what you believe. If you're gay, you can't get married. If you've been raped, you can't abort your baby. If you want to do drugs, you can't do drugs. You don't want anyone to take your choices away from you. 
So why would you take theirs? Right? Which brings me into the last part. Is even when choices are taken away in a legal sense, people still find ways to do what they want. Um, when abortions were illegal, people would still find ways to get them. Um, when alcohol was illegal, people still found ways to drink alcohol. Um, drugs are illegal right now, people still do drugs. So even after you enforce your morals, people still are making their own choices illegally. So does it really matter? Why would you want to take anyone's choice away from them? You wouldn't want your choices taken away from you. And that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. <laughs> Bye.